Now to the latest on the Orlando massacre. Organizers estimate 50,000 people gathered in downtown Orlando to honor the 49 victims with more funerals happening this week. Today we will learn some of what the shooter told police as he was carrying out the attack. CBS 4 Silva Harpedian is live with more. Silva, good morning. Good morning, Maribel. A week after the terror attacks left 49 people dead inside an Orlando nightclub, the FBI is set to release transcripts of the gunman's negotiations with police. In the meantime, exactly a week after the attacks, thousands gathered to remember and honor the victims. Today, we may learn more about the motivation behind the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. The Department of Justice is expected to release the 911 calls made by Omar Mateen during his rampage inside the Pulse nightclub. While many are searching for answers, last night an estimated 50,000 people gathered in downtown Orlando to heal with candles, raised high, many chanting, peace, love, pulse, and remembrance. It's about loving each other and treating everybody like human beings. And that's the type of person that he was. So if he sees something like this, he would be, again, overwhelmed. And as the community moves forward, so does the investigation. U.S. Attorney Loretta Lynch says a transcript of the gunman's conversation with negotiators could shed some light on Mateen's mental state, motivation, and why he may have targeted the LGBT community. Lynch will meet with survivors and investigators in Orlando on Tuesday. We are told of the 53 wounded, 23 remain hospitalized, and six are still in critical condition. Back to you.